Welcome to Science Easy Tech Channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about critiquing research or research critic in the subject Nursing Research and Statistics Unit 10. Unit 8 is Communication and Utilization of Nursing Research. Under that, you have a topic Critiquing Research or Research Critic. So this video will be useful for B.Sc. Nursing students, Post Basic B.Sc. Nursing students. For M.Sc. Nursing students, you have to do a detailed explanation on nursing research. But this video is dealing only the basic concept of research critic. So it is only useful for B.Sc. Nursing and Post Basic B.Sc. Nursing. For M.Sc. Nursing, I will post a separate video on research critics so which you have so many dimensions you have to learn so if it comes for five marks for bsc nursing or post basic bsc nursing this is enough before moving on to the topic if you are new to science easy tech channel just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates Critical review of research work or research critic. What is critic? So critic means so whenever we are seeing a movie also we are telling the critic both positive as well as negative review we are telling no. So research critic is a planned careful critical evaluation of a piece of research work against the pre-specified criteria to judge the strength and weakness of research study. That's why I told for BSc level just this basic introduction is enough. For MSc level you have so many predetermined criteria against that criteria or checklist you have to verify whether the following research work done by a researcher has been satisfied or not so when you are evaluating critically you can identify both the strength that is positive points and weaknesses negative points of the research study according to leninger he defined research critic which reflects a penetrating analysis of a study in which judicious and constructive comments have been made about a piece of work. So, you have to in-depth analyze the research study and you have to identify both the strength and weaknesses and you have to take it in a constructive way so that uh, it is going to improve for your better improvement in the future. Okay. So, when your researcher has done a research study, okay, already your seniors might be doing a research study, you can take any one research study and you can see both the positive aspects of the study and negative aspects of the study. So, whenever you are critiquing, just to initially itself don't go for negative comments uh, definitely positive points will be there so list down all the positive points and next you can go for negative don't tell negative comments also areas to be improved or uh, points to be improved like that you can tell purpose first purpose is to provide input regarding the strength and weaknesses of a study so, first thing as I have mentioned in the definition itself, the strength, weakness of your study, first you are going to determine. Then, to provide suggestions about methodological flaws or inadequacies to the students. So, in research methodology, what are all the inadequacies or what are all the mistakes or what are all the flaws they have done that you can tell to the students to evaluate understanding of research by the students so when you are doing a research critic various research critic see even in our msc level also we, as a requirement we have to do uh, two research critics okay done by our seniors or any research we will be taking that thesis uh, book and we will be going in depth analysis and we have to find the positive points which is very easy we can find it in any and negative points if you want to find identify the flaws you have to have a very good in-depth knowledge about research methodology then only you can find fault in 
others me because even if i am telling any negative point i have to give rationalization of that point simply i cannot tell this point is not the like good uh, in this way the researcher can do like that and now simply if i am telling no one will listen i have to justify my answer why i am telling this is a flaw or this is a negative for this research if i am telling i should give some valid reason then only they will accept so whenever i am finding some fault i should be in a position to justify myself so to evaluate understanding of research by the students to judge scientific merits of the study yes of course this is very important positive points how it is going to be utilized by the society what are all the positive aspects or merits of the study that you have to tell next to take decision whether to publish the study in journal or not suppose if the research is going to have too much of flaws it cannot be published in an abstract so when you are critiquing a research even we are sending the our research abstract to the journals also know that time also they will be uh, they will be fully reading it they will uh, critically analyze it whether the research has the ability to publish or not otherwise they will reject our manuscript okay next is uh, guidelines for research critic so whenever we are we want to critique research we have to follow certain rules and regulations or guidelines let us see one by one first thing read and understand the research report carefully it's not that if you are reading uh, suppose if the research consists of 100 pages only learning 20 pages is not enough you have to learn right from the beginning till the end even the style of writing even grammatical everything uh, the format everything you have to do it that's why i told in msa i will put a detailed video on which are all the dimensions you have to do it for, for bsc level five marks level this is more than enough so read and understand the research report carefully carry out critical appraisal of all the aspects of research reports so you have to each and every nook and corner of the research you have to study and you have to understand it you have to identify the meaning then only you can um, tell the thing for example if you want to review a uh, picture after its release a yeah, cinema after its release so when you are reviewing also you have to see the whole cinema each and every dimension you have to do critic okay same thing only here also it's applicable avoid general vague statements vague means unclear statements so whenever you are telling any statement whenever you are giving any uh, critic uh, especially with regard to positive points and negative points you have to be clear in your answer and at any point of time you should be in a position to justify your answer next is be objective and sensitive while framing negative comments i told no when you are framing negative comments you should be very cautious because suppose uh, if you are going to uh, tell simply then uh, uh, it is uh, you are not answerable for your statement means then again it's a problem so keep balanced approach so always don't find fault there are positive aspects and negative aspects so it should be balanced that's why I told whenever you are starting a critic, first see the positive points, then go for the negative points. So only one positive point, there are 20 negative points like that, don't go. Equally balance it. It can be 8 positive points, 12 negative points or 10 positive points, 10 negative points like that. Okay, so that is balance. Positive and negative comments must be supported with examples. So it is not comments, it is negative comments. Common spelling C O M M E N T S. So positive and negative comments must be supported with examples to make it clear. Whenever you are pricing, also you should justify it. When you are uh, uh, giving uh, negative comments, also you should justify it. As I have told earlier, hope this video gives a clear explanation and a brief introduction to critiquing nursing research so that in future you are going to do most of you are going to do msc nursing so this will be a small foundation for you so in a msc nursing based on the criteria uh, what to be critiqued for nursing research you can use it and you can uh, become a very good critic
If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up, share and subscribe to Science Easy Tech channel. My previous videos link I have given in description box, suggested end card and i card. Or you can watch our channel playlist for more nursing research and statistic related videos. Thank you friends. Keep supporting to Science Easy Tech channel.